everybody, welcome back. Ben Hoffman here with Hoffman Reproductions. Thank you for tuning in with us again today. This time around, we are going to address a comment that was left on our last video on making black powder. And it was worth looking into. A subscriber left a comment and stated that he noticed when using these Harbor Freight ball mills, and especially the canister here, as you know they're made out of black rubber, just cheap black rubber. Uh, he was using it to polish some lead round balls and shot that he had cast so he actually was not making black powder in his and he noticed when he was done that there was a black residue left on the shot that he was polishing and another subscriber said yeah they had noticed the same thing when milling some uh, light colored material and here come to find out it was rubber residue from these canisters so the question was put perhaps that was causing an increase in fouling um, I hadn't looked into it myself but I thought you know there might be something to it so I decided to come up with a cleaner way to continue using this canister now first I thought well I could get a new mill but didn't really want to spend the money. I thought I could just make a new canister, but I didn't want to take a lot of time to do that. So what I came up with is I kept my canister, just the standard Harbor Freight model, and I lined it with four inch sheet metal dryer vent. Stuff you can buy at any Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, has a little uh, snap together seam there. I made a little insert piece for the bottom. Uh, cut the tube to length. You want to leave it short enough that that recessed edge goes down below the lip and the rubber because there's a little edge there that catches the lid. And then I just made a little piece that fits into the top. And then my lid can fit down tight and of course the cap go on and screw down. And that way we could eliminate all contact of the rubber with the material and my mixing media. I also swapped out for marbles. Um, another subscriber said it's possible that you're getting residue from the lead. I uh, hadn't tested it, but I figured, what the heck, let's give it a try. Um, now, before everybody has a heart attack and says, oh my goodness, you're going to have glass shards in this powder. I've already milled the powder. I didn't notice any shards or dust in there. And a quick side note. When using different types of mixing media, nobody agrees on what is good mixing media. Um, there are, are different points of view. Pretty much everybody has their favorite, and then there's people that have a problem with every single one and say it's going to have this, 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 and this problem. So you've got to go with whatever works best for you. I don't know as I'm going to continue to use these only because it took a very long time to mill. My guess is because these are lighter weight than the lead I typically use. It took about two, three days to get this powder milled to the proper consistency. But uh, I've gone ahead and made a batch of powder like I normally make. I have corned it. Um, I suppose it came out cleaner because we didn't have any contact with this rubber this time around. So we're going to take a trip down to the range, do a little bit of shooting, get the gun good and dirty, and see if we have indeed achieved a cleaner powder or perhaps one with slightly less fouling. So that's up next. guys so here's the result of the patches I ran down the barrel after firing six rounds through my rifle uh, same exact load and powder charge that I've been using for all of our testing and it was my buckthorn alder char charcoal black powder um, now if you were expecting oh my gosh he's found the secret to Swiss it's so clean now uh, no I did not get that but this is normal fouling for black powder and I think actually a little better than Go X, and my uh, overall conclusion of this does lining the chamber of the ball mill make a difference? Yes. Um, the last several times that I have been shooting, my patches 
were several times worse on the fouling factor and there was also a uh, heavy some sort of residue I mean you would call it fouling but I wasn't sure what it up the buildup was significant so yeah I think there was definitely uh, some burnt rubber deposits in that uh, fouling from the powder made without the the mill chamber being lined and this is much better uh, a couple of spit patches followed by a couple of dries uh, I was having no problem ramming it down the shots were accurate and personally I think yes this makes much cleaner powder so definitely um, thank you to the subscriber that brought this to my attention and I would recommend everybody to line or replace your chamber of your mill with something that's not going to leave a, a residue behind also, I found a couple of my shooting patches here. Now they're dirty, but um, previously with any type of patching or grease that I've been using, I've been getting a little hole burnt in the side of the patch, just off center, clear through it. And uh, usually that's a sign that uh, your load or your lube or your patching or something needs tweaked and gases are burning through or escaping by. Well, with this powder, none of these patches have that little hole that's burnt through, so it's burning at less of a temperature, which is good, so we're not losing gases through our patching. And as I said, it's absolutely making fouling that is less than previous, so do something to upgrade those mill chambers, guys. You'll be glad you did. Alright, so I'm going to head back to the shop and proceed with the cleaning of this gun and see if I notice a difference there too. They were pretty dirty and gunky uh, with my previous powder, so we'll see if this new cleaner powder cleans up better. Okay guys, so I just finished cleaning my little CVA rifle here and did I notice a difference? Yes, a huge difference. It typically takes me about 25-30 patches to get this gun clean lately and I had it squeaky clean, residue free in 12 patches. So uh, making your ball mill chamber lined with something to avoid that rubber residue, there's really something to that or changing your mill out. And I would absolutely recommend doing that. It makes a huge difference. Um, when you lessen the amount of fouling in your gun, that is important for several different reasons. Uh, Keeping the fouling down will keep the accuracy good on your gun because if your rifling fills with fouling, that's going to throw your shots off. Also, it makes it easier to load. Obviously, if there's a buildup of fouling, it's going to get harder to load. And cleanup is going to be easier. So that was a big find today. Again, thank you to the subscriber that recommended that. Definitely worth doing. And we'll see you all again next time. Thank you.